on, on both ends of the floor, particularly in the second half when you guys broke things open. Yeah, I thought we really looked like a, a connected team. Um, you know, we just talked post game just about how um, with this year's team, you might not know when uh, or where your role might be. We might be a, a team that, you know, I thought Jalen Graham, when he went in, he, he kind of he helped, really helped change the complexion of the game. Um, and he has, you know, he hasn't played much of late. Kamani, the last two games was phenomenal. Um, but, the, you know, the, tonight uh, was, you know, it was the first time that that full roster was together. And I, I thought we looked like it the first half. I, you know, I thought we struggled a little bit with with uh, trying to figure things out. And I know I, I struggled as well um, with substitution patterns and stuff. And and um, but I thought the second half, the guys settled in and they, they played with with great offensive freedom. And I thought we did a, a better job defensively on number 10, Amari Moore, who's a, who's a really, really talented offensive player. Nick told us, you know, obviously he got his feet wet on Monday, but he said he felt like this was really his debut. Uh, just what did you think about the progress he's made over the last few days and just his performance overall tonight? Yeah, I mean, it was tough on him, you know, the 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 minutes restriction, you know, I know he didn't like. Um, but also I think that first game uh, for any player is, you know, is a, is a challenge. And, and uh, tonight he played with, you know, great freedom, I think even mentally, you know, I think he was, he knew there was no minute restrictions on him. And, um, you know, he changes, changes our team offensively with his ability to make threes and, and beat people off the bounce. Okay. Well, it seems like your team gets stronger and better in the second halves of games. What do you attribute to that? I mean, or is it, because you didn't necessarily had a slow start today, but it was still a tight game and then you just blow it open. Seems like that's been the playbook a lot lately. Well, I think a couple of things, Kevin, I think one, you know, conditioning is, 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 is good. I, you know, I think in the last couple of years, we've been a, a, a really good second half team, um, you know, especially coming out of halftime. I think our team plays with, with a little bit of an edge. Um, and then the depth, you know, I mean, um, we just keep talking those huddles about, Hey, wear them down, wear them down, keep playing hard, keep playing hard. And, and you hope a fresh body, it's been Kamani the last couple games, and and then tonight I, you know, I thought Graham's fresh body, maybe at I don't know when I put him in like the thirteen mark or twelve and a half minute mark, whatever it was. I thought you could tell he was really, really fresh. You look at the shooting percentages across the board from the field from three free throws. Where where do you see this as far as a trend or a lucky night? No, I think we're getting better offensively. I really do. I think that, you know, when you have, you know, as many freshmen as, as we do, I think that's going to, that's going to be, you know, we should be continuing to improve. And just with so many new faces, you know, uh, you know, I knew the first four or five games offensively. And um, yeah, I, I think we can keep improving in that area, Kevin. I don't, I don't think like tonight, you know, I thought we took open threes. I thought we, should, you know, 197 passes tonight. Um, is close to one of our top passing games. And I, I think when you share the ball and let the game come to you, your percentages will go up as well. And, that, and Brazil was phenomenal off the bounce as a trail man. Kind of led me right to my question. Um, which is, what did you make of Trevin tonight? I think it's the third time he scored 20 plus. Um, what did you think of him tonight that keyed his offense? And then what kind of, what's the theme of his game? Like when he's playing well this year? I think he does a good job, Scotty, just trying to, kind of figuring out what the defense gives him some games it's been spot up threes uh tonight I thought he did a really really good job of beating people off the bounce um again in that trail spot um you know and, and maybe maybe there were some harder closeouts to take away his threes and then he just went to and he's got an incredible long stride uh to the rim and covers a lot of space in very few dribbles um, you know, Nick hits that first three, not a shock. But how good was it to see that? And just everybody's been, obviously, it's been a long wait for him to get back on the court for you. Just how good was it to see him out there playing like, you know, he can play? And where do you expect him to go from here? Because obviously that's just a starting point, really. Yeah, I think Nick will just keep getting better. He'll keep getting more comfortable. His teammates will understand his tendencies. Um, but I think with any player, 
he look, he was disappointed last game, you know, that that you know his expectations of his first game were different than than what happened. And and he told me that. And uh I told him that I'm a little older and and I knew that the first game, you know, when you have a player that's that's been injured, it's it's not easy the first game. You're gonna add this up, and and then um, you mentioned depth a minute ago. Uh, Usually, we're on better. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, is this the deepest team you've coached, or where does the depth on this team? Maybe I know it's early, but where does it so far, anyway, in your mind, rank with other teams you've coached on the college level? Uh, yeah, I mean, for sure, it's the you know it's the deepest team, just because you know, you know there's number one from a number standpoint. You you know we always had four transfers that sat out, um, you know, and, and in that first year that was at Nevada, obviously. And then, at the, you know, here, the, uh, you know, Connor and JD sat out that first year and we had an open scholarship. I think the first two years that I was here and some guys sitting out. And so I think for sure, from a depth standpoint, um, you know, we, we, uh, probably the deepest team I've ever had. Yes. Hey, coach, you talk about how connected you guys were today. Do you think you really saw a glimpse of when you guys were putting this roster together, what this team could really be today? I think so. I mean, it's one game, you know, and we're played at home and we had a great crowd. So, um, you know, the, with the crowd and the enthusiasm and, and, and anticipation of a full roster, I think that, you know, it was it was it was going to be a game that a, a road team would really have to play well. Um, but I think from a chemistry standpoint, and uh, from the team getting along, I mean, we've, we had, uh, I don't know if the players talked about it, but we had probably our three shortest practices since I've been coaching college this, this week. Um, I, because I thought they were focused and getting along and connected. And, and uh, as a group, we continue to get closer and closer up Graham a couple of times you know he was a all-conference player in the Pac-12 hasn't played a whole lot how has he handled that at practice and mentally and everything and could he be playing himself into maybe some more minutes moving forward well for sure Hutch that the uh I mean his practice habits this week were his, the best since he's been here and so without discussing it with anyone I, I felt like coming into the game if I did not reward him with some minutes it would it would be unfair because he you know, we got those things that we wear and you can look at the energy that they, whatever, how many jumps they do and all that stuff. And he, he had his best week. Um, and so I'm glad that he got an opportunity to play when the game was in the balance and, 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 and played well. Cause, cause he, he's a really good interior passer. He's got a, an, an incredible soft floater. Uh, he's really effective against zones. Off, from an offensive standpoint, right in that middle hot spot that we call it. And then, I don't know, I think he took at least one charge. Two. Wow. I didn't expect that. Usually usually you maybe go seven, seven and a half guys deep. How hard is it to maybe get all these pieces minutes like that? What, what's that challenge like? I mean, I, I can tell you in the first half, I didn't, I, I, I felt discombobulated a little bit trying to get guys in and and, uh, you know, but, but, but I got to maybe adapt a little bit as well. And, and, and every game kind of changes too. Like I just told the team that I have no idea what's going to transpire on, uh, Tuesday, just like, you know, I didn't walk into the building thinking that Jalen was going to, we were going to run five straight plays for him. And I, I wanted to get him in the game based on how hard he practiced, but did not know that we would be going at at a really good shot blocker and punching that ball into Jalen but he but he had bounce to his game and and he had a quickness advantage so again I had no, I have no idea what what which way we're going to kind of wind up on Tuesday Ricky and Anthony have handled such a big scoring load for you with Nick playing a bigger role tonight how'd you see those guys handle that dynamic with you know a big scorer in the lineup I thought they were great I mean it looked I mean to me it looked like a team that 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 had a lot of fun looked like a team that really enjoyed playing with each other tonight uh, looked like a team that shared the ball I think that's the one thing you know when you have when you have a talented team is 
you know, are you willing to share it? Let the game come to you. And I thought those three guys, because Ricky's wired to score. Um, AB can score. We saw that when when Nick was out. I mean, AB uh, really rose to the occasion because we needed points. Um, and, uh, you know, a Anthony, as well as most of like defensively, we keep getting a little bit better as well. Evo, of course, wasn't on the court on Monday. Trevin said having him, not having him on the court was just weird, but you had him back tonight. Just what do you think about that? Yeah, I thought, I mean, he had great days of practice. He was happy, had bounced to his step. And, uh, you know, he just kind of, I mean, he could just kind of just roll out there and, and compete, you know. He, uh, he's, I probably give him a little bit more freedom than other guys, uh, especially defensively he'll kind of randomly switch stuff and I won't know what he's doing. And, and he kind of, kind of gets to the right spot and creates havoc. So um, I, I thought, what I thought we did miss him uh, the other night. And I think everybody was happy to get him back. The play where Jordan went up for a, a shot, uh, kind of looked like he got fouled, but he didn't. And then he runs down the court, gets a steal. Just what do you think of that play and just his motor overall throughout the season so far? Yeah, I think the crowd, you know, at Bud Walton feeds off, extra effort plays and obviously for a player to to go hard to the rim have contact no foul um and then get back and get back in the play and then make a play um i mean that was a that was a great energy effort play but um, do you remember ever having a point guard that you had called for goaltending before i don't think so it might have been a first <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then um, you talked the other night about some guys being on Maui time. I'm thinking maybe Trevin was on Maui time. He was on Arkansas time tonight. I mean, do you think maybe he was just a little out of sorts and just kind of got back to his, himself tonight? Yeah, I thought, I thought again, his game off the bounce and his energy was, uh, was phenomenal. And I, I mean, that, you know, that was the first time I've been to Maui and it, and it, it, it kind of, it does take its toll just because of the time change. And then, you know, your sleep, patterns and he looked like he was well rested tonight. All right, thanks everybody.